Hi everyone, it's Adam from Web Starts. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a matching custom email address to go with your domain name. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can take whatever domain name you registered, .com, .org, .net, and get a professional looking matching email address. So in this demo, I've got bargerestates.com and I'm going to be creating an email address that says adam at bargerestates.com. I like that way better than having something like bargerestates at gmail or yahoo or hotmail or something like that. When you're in a meeting with somebody and you're giving them your contact information, it just comes off as way more professional when you have an email address that matches the domain name that you have registered with your website. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in Web Starts. This is specific to Web Starts, so you will have to have your website with Web Starts or at least your domain name in order to create these emails because in the first step, what you need to do is add a domain name to your website. If you're logged in your Web Starts account and you haven't yet added a domain name, click anywhere that it says add domain name. That's both on the dashboard and there's also a button that says that in the editor in the top right. Once you click on that button, you'll be looking at the add domain screen. That's what we're looking at here. And you'll have two options. The first option is to register a brand new domain that's never been registered by you before. The next option is I already have a domain and obviously what that means is that you registered that domain name somewhere on the internet. Maybe you did that 10 years ago, maybe you did it two days ago, but you registered it somewhere else and you want to use it with Web Starts. If that's your situation, then make sure you choose I already have a domain name. The next thing you're going to do, regardless of which one of these options you've selected, is you're going to enter that domain name into the field provided here. So in this example, I would just say bargerestates.com and click continue. Now I've already added bargerestates.com to this website, so I'm getting this error message that's saying that it already exists. You won't get that if you haven't already set up a domain name with a website at Web Starts. Once you've entered your domain name and you continue, you're going to have to choose a plan. So if you're choosing the register to new domain option, and then you're saying something like, I'm just gonna do barger-estates.com and click continue. You'll see that barger-estates.com is available. You'll be asked to continue and you'll also see some other domain name suggestions down here. Once I click continue, I'm then asked to upgrade to one of the paid plans. Be sure to upgrade to either the Pro Plus or the business plan to include the domain name with your website. Once you choose a plan, you'll be taken to checkout. And once checkout's completed, that domain name will be automatically configured to work with your website. So great, now you have added a domain name to your website. You should see that the link to your site is now your custom domain name. So we got that part out of the way. The next thing you're going to do is scroll down the page in the dashboard view, and that's what we're looking at here, and click on the business email application. That's going to bring up another section where you have either a list of the email addresses you've already created, like in this case where I've already upgraded and paid for email addresses, so I have a list of the ones I already created, or you might see a screen asking you to buy email addresses with your website, and of course we charge a very affordable price if you want to do that. To create a new email address, all you need to do is click on add new email box, and then you enter the first name, last name, the desired email address, and then you choose the domain name that you want to associate it with from the drop down menu. It should have the primary domain name associated by default, so you can see here it says Barger Estates. And then you wanna create a password for that email box. Once you're all done with that, that email address will appear in the list just like that, and then you can test log into it by clicking on this open icon, and then you log in using the complete email address along with the password. So you can't just enter, for example, guest. You have to put guest at 
bargerestates.com or whatever domain name that you're using. And then you have to log in using, of course, the password that you created. If somebody creates a password or you're creating a password for somebody else, they can change it at any time. So keep that in mind if you're creating an email address for somebody else and want to keep it secure. Of course, at any other time, you can click this button to buy additional email addresses and you can edit any of the email addresses you've already created by clicking on the edit icon to the right of the email address. Do keep in mind that there's a good chance that you'll want to configure this email address to work on your phone using a mail program. So if you're using an Android device, you may want to forward these emails to your Gmail and access it that way. And if you're using an iPhone, you probably want to set it up using Apple Mail. And to do that takes different a different set of instructions. And I'll link to the video that shows you how to do those uh, below, but be sure to check those out as well. The other thing that I wanted to mention, or I just forgot to mention, is that if you are using an existing domain name in order to set up with your web search account, you won't have the ability to create these email addresses until you either transferred that domain name that you registered somewhere else to web starts or if you've updated the DNS records at your existing registrar, and sometimes that takes a few minutes. So do keep that in mind if you selected that option. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website, online store, or blog. And please subscribe to these videos to be the first to find out when I release a new video. Click the subscribe and notify options in YouTube below. Thanks for watching.